My name is Peter Wall and I'm a co-founder here at Hubud and I'm back visiting this week and the place looks amazing. And um, could you tell us what are you doing now and how's it going? How's your life? So my life is good. Uh, since I left Hubud in 2015, I've done a bunch of different things. Uh, I worked as a communications director for a expedition in the Canadian Arctic. I uh, managed a startup that did a mindfulness meditation app. And right now I'm the VP of operations for a cryptocurrency company uh, in Canada. How come you've changed so many jobs and you're doing so many different things? How come? I like changing. I have a theory that changing your jobs is important for work fulfillment because it keeps you interested, it keeps you engaged, uh, and I think it's a really valuable way to experience the world. And it certainly is in line with, with the values that I have and with how I want to kind of interact with the workplace. And um, what keeps you motivated to change? Is, are the, <coughs> is it the values that you have? I think my main motivation for accepting or working on any project nowadays is number one, is it in, in line with my values? Yeah. And two, is it interesting and engaging and is it something I want to uh, you know, work on? Um, so right now, working in the cryptocurrency world is really exciting. There's tons of stuff going on. It's kind of the Wild West. And the job is also really flexible for me right now. So I'm able to work from home, uh, work with the team, which is another one of my values. I like being part of a team. Um, so really just, I just look at each project and I say, does this, this is a fit for me? Um, how long, you know, am I going to stay? I never know. I just kind of jump on board and then the projects kind of have a life of their own. And um, now let's go back to Hubert itself. How do you think Hubert has changed since you started it? I see a lot of similarities from, what, with, from how Hubert is now from when we started and I see some differences. So I think the similarities is Hubud has always been about community. You know, we used to say, we used to say, come for the view, stay for the community. And I see a really strong community of people here, which is awesome. Um, I think it's changed, it's just matured. I think, you know, I think that the co-working itself has matured. I think remote work is more mature than it was in the past. And so I think it's more accepted now. I think if people tell their parents, oh, I'm working at a co-working space, they probably know what a co-working space is. Whereas five years ago, a lot of people didn't, hadn't heard of co-working. So it's just kind of more accepted. Um, and I think Ubud is, has become even a, a more of an international destination than it was five or 10 years ago, where it was more of a kind of tourist de destination. Now there's people who, who have seen, and it's because of places like Ubud, that Ubud is a place where you can come and live and you know become a part of a community. And, um now you don't really work from Hobart. So when you're not in Hobart, what do you usually miss the most about this place? I think the first thing I miss about Bali when I'm not in Bali is the Balinese. I think we have, uh, the world can learn a lot from the Balinese about the importance of community, about the importance of ritual, um, about the importance of not necessarily focusing on the material things. Because, I mean, I don't want to, to generalize, but in my experience, Balinese are generally, you know, family and community first. Um, so that's the number one thing I miss. And then I just miss being part of an international community of, you know, people from around the world and, and the amazing food and the amazing weather. And yeah, there's so, so many things I miss about Ubud. It's a great place. But do you still consider yourself a digital nomad? I don't know if I ever discovered, like, ever actually considered myself a digital nomad. I think we 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 opened a space where a lot of digital nomads came. A lot of people who I, a lot of people identified themselves as digital nomads. But I consider myself more of like a project guy. And Hubud was a project I did for a while, and then I moved on to another project. Um, you know, I it's harder to be a nomadic when you have kids. So I've always kind of been in places a little bit longer than you would if you considered yourself a a digital nomad um, but yeah it's it's great to be back okay. so um, I have two pieces of advice for Hubudians number one is learn Indonesian because it allows you to engage with the local population in a really important way and two um, embrace the fact that you're going to do a variety of work over your career and don't necessarily feel like you need to become a stable 
uh, you know, have a stable job, which a lot of, there's a lot of societal pressure to have, or two, to become a star, which there's also a lot of societal pressure to have. Those two paths seem to be the main paths that people push. And I think that the third path of doing a variety of work in a variety of places, in a variety of ways, is a really viable and potentially powerful path. Thank you very much. Cool, John. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Next week.